and the, the inlet temperature. So the colder your, your propellant is. For generations, humans have been captivated by the mysteries of the ocean. Throughout history, we have embarked on journeys across the vast blue expanses in pursuit of uncharted societies and exciting exploits. Undeniably, the planet's waters are vast and enigmatic, constituting a staggering 98% of Earth's expanse. Given this vastness, it's unsurprising that explorations have unveiled remarkably peculiar phenomena. On this occasion, the Navy, in collaboration with visionary tech entrepreneur Elon Musk, has stumbled upon a discovery of such alarming nature that they deemed it necessary to disclose it to the public. What peculiar findings have the Navy's deep sea divers encountered beneath the waves? Furthermore, what strategic initiatives does Elon Musk intend to unveil concerning this newfound revelation? Come along as we delve into Elon Musk's account of the Navy's underwater observations during their oceanic expedition. Encompassing a substantial portion of Earth's surface, the worldwide ocean consists of salt water and extends over 70% of the planet's expanse. While the ocean comprises various regions, scientists have distinctly delineated four principal oceans, the Great Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic Oceans. Notably, a fifth ocean has been officially recognized. Acknowledged by National Geographic on June 8, 2021, this new addition is the Southern Ocean, encircling Antarctica and further expanding the categorization of Earth's oceans. The exact count of marine species inhabiting the oceans remains unknown to scientists. Presently, approximately 226,000 ocean species have been officially documented. Disturbingly, numerous oceanic organisms are experiencing population decline due to the detrimental effects of pollution, rising sea temperatures, and other ecological challenges. Despite these concerning trends, researchers persist in unveiling previously unknown living species. It's estimated that there could be anywhere from several hundred thousand to a few million more species yet to be classified. Furthermore, our exploration has extended to the discovery of enigmatic underwater formations, such as the Bermuda Triangle and the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth, plunging seven miles beneath the ocean's surface. Furthermore, it's important to consider the remarkable discoveries of entire submerged towns, like the ancient Greek city of Palvopetri, which dates back 5,000 years and likely met its watery fate around 1,000 BC. Additionally, the oceans have emerged as a remarkable repository of knowledge concerning the evolution of the animal kingdom in recent decades. Modern explorations have unveiled substantial transformations in life on Earth since its earliest stages of development. This range spans from the prehistoric Megalodon, the largest shark ever to roam the seas, to the contemporary tube worms thriving in the challenging depths of the abyssal environment. Situated around the Arctic region, the Arctic Ocean stands as Earth's northernmost body of water, its currents flowing both around and beneath it. Although it holds the title of the smallest ocean globally, spanning approximately 5.4 million square miles in surface area, the Arctic Ocean accounts for a substantial 4% of the Earth's surface, making it 1.5 times larger than the United States. Distinguished by its shallowness and low salinity, the Arctic Ocean holds the distinction of being the least salty among the five ocean basins. Its average depth measures around 3,953 feet, with a maximum recorded depth of 18,264 feet. This unique characteristic primarily stems from the region's minimal evaporation rates and the substantial influx of fresh water originating from glaciers and rivers. The Arctic Ocean boasts a thriving marine ecosystem, sustained by a dynamic interplay between river mouths, calving glaciers, and constantly churning ocean currents. Despite its predominant ice cover throughout the year, the Arctic Ocean is experiencing significant impacts from climate change. The diminishing extent and thickness of its sea ice are direct consequences of the rising global temperatures. Beyond its environmental implications and potential geopolitical ramifications, these changes have ignited interest in promising economic prospects, including the opening of new shipping routes and access to untapped natural resources. Remarkably, the foundation of the Arctic marine ecology remains supported by phytoplankton, the bedrock of the food chain. These minuscule plants flourish beneath the ice, undergoing photosynthesis to transform light and nutrients into essential organic compounds. The duration of the phytoplankton bloom phase hinges on factors such as sunlight and nutrient availability, both of which undergo seasonal fluctuations and are influenced by ice cover. 
Notably, a unique discovery emerged two years ago. Giant sponges found atop long-extinct underwater volcanoes, lying deep beneath the perpetually frozen Arctic Ocean. These Arctic sponges, belonging to the Geodea order, have been observed consuming fossilized bones of prehistoric creatures as a means of survival in the nutrient-scarce environment. Described as an exceptional ecosystem, this revelation underscores the distinctiveness of the Arctic region, as noted by Ancha Boetius, a marine biologist affiliated with the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology and the Alfred Wegener Institute in Germany out of the sunlit zone, and so you're, you're sinking through all blue colors. This phenomenon is unprecedented in the vast expanse of the Central Arctic, with no prior comparables. In 2016, Boetius led the scientific efforts aboard the Polar Stern Icebreaker Research Vessel, which notably unveiled the substantial Antarctic ice fish nesting discovery. During the Arctic expedition, the team employed camera equipment to survey the seafloor of Langseth Ridge, an underwater mountain range positioned at depths ranging from 700 to 1,000 meters, located not far from the North Pole. The resultant images depicted remarkably lush and densely populated underwater ecosystems situated atop dormant volcanoes. This revelation proved to be captivating. Previous scientific understanding held that sponges thrive ubiquitously across global oceans, from shallow tropical reefs to frigid Antarctic waters. Their conventional feeding mechanism involves filtering nutrients from the surrounding seawater, enabling them to extract nutrient-rich particles. However, surviving in the Arctic Ocean presents distinctive challenges. Due to the region's prolonged ice coverage, there is limited downward movement of nourishment from the surface to the depths where these geodia sponges flourish. So how do these sponges manage to subsist? Teresa Morganti, a sponge expert from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology and a co-author of the study, took on the task of examining photographs and samples of sponge tissue to ascertain their age and feeding patterns. The investigation uncovered that these sponges harbor robust internal bacterial populations and have existed for an average of 300 years. Morganta explained that their analysis revealed that these sponges possess microbial symbionts capable of utilizing aged organic matter. This adaptation empowers them to feed on the remnants of long extinct inhabitants of the seamounts, such as the protein and cheating rich worm tubes and other trapped debris. A wide range of sponge types harbor microbial populations capable of transporting nutrients from the surrounding water to the sponges, managing waste, and even generating antibiotics to safeguard the sponge's well-being. As highlighted by Morgantai and her colleagues' research, these Arctic sponges have adopted an unconventional nutritional strategy. Instead of relying primarily on seawater, they can ingest organic materials trapped within the mat where they reside. This mat essentially preserves traces of the ancient biosphere, gases emitted from volcanic systems beneath the seafloor once sustained a notably more diverse environment, inhabited by a multitude of species thousands of years in the past. Over time, much has disappeared, leaving behind these unexpected sponge gardens. Through the action of enzymes, the microbes dwelling on the sponges can break down the fossilized remnants of this extinct ecosystem, converting them into nutrients for their sponge host, as indicated by microbial research. The bacterial toolkit is exceptionally suited for this environment. The bacteria can effectively utilize refractory particulate matter and dissolved organic substances as sources of carbon, nitrogen, various forms of chemical energy. Elon Musk and other scientists emphasize the importance of such research, particularly given the changing climate and rapid reduction of Arctic sea ice. A deeper comprehension of hotspot ecosystems is crucial for preserving and managing the unique diversity of these ecologically strained Arctic waters. On another note, research supported by NASA has unveiled a massive algal bloom flourishing beneath the thick Arctic ice, fundamentally reshaping our understanding of the region ecosystems. Imagine entering a rainforest within the heart of a desert. That's the analogy used by NASA scientists to describe a groundbreaking biological discovery in the Arctic Ocean. Beneath the receding Arctic ice, tiny plants known as phytoplankton are flourishing. In fact, researchers suggest that the Arctic Ocean may presently exhibit more prolific phytoplankton growth than any other oceanic location worldwide. This revelation unveils a previously unknown consequence of the warming Arctic temperatures, furnishing scientists with crucial insights into the impacts of climate change and environmental shifts on the Arctic's ecosystem. 
to investigate the influence of environmental variability and changing conditions on Arctic oceanic biology, ecology, and biogeochemistry, scientists ventured beneath three feet of sea ice. Astonishingly, they found that the phytoplankton were highly active, undergoing multiple daily cycles of multiplication. Contrastingly, open water blooms develop at a much slower pace, doubling in size over two to three days. These growth rates stand as some of the swiftest measurements in polar waters. Traditionally, it was believed that phytoplankton blooms in the Arctic Ocean began only after the summer sea ice had retreated. However, the researchers observed blooms beneath the ice, extending from the ice edge to as far as 72 miles within the ice pack. Interestingly, ocean current data indicated that these blooms did not migrate from the open ocean, where phytoplankton concentrations can be high, but rather thrived beneath the ice. While the prevailing notion was that sea ice hindered the penetration of sunlight required for phytoplankton growth, scientists now theorize that retreating Arctic ice allows sunlight to permeate the waters beneath, giving rise to blooms in previously unforeseen locations. Given that phytoplankton forms the base of the marine food chain and plays a role in carbon dioxide absorption, the emergence of under-ice blooms may necessitate a re-evaluation of the amount of carbon dioxide released into the Arctic Ocean due to biological activity. Whether these abundant phytoplankton blooms have existed in the Arctic for an extended period, unnoticed until now, remains uncertain. However, should the Arctic sea ice continue to thin, these blooms could expand further in the future. The revelation of these previously undisclosed under-ice blooms carries implications for the broader Arctic ecosystem, including migratory creatures like whales and birds. Small oceanic organisms consume phytoplankton, which subsequently serves as nourishment for larger fish and marine animals. The potential shift in the timing of phytoplankton blooms could negatively impact larger animals that depend on consuming these microorganisms or species that rely on them as a food source. Migratory species might struggle to synchronize their life cycles with the peak of the bloom, potentially leading to mismatches in food availability. This discovery, as indicated by researchers, carries far-reaching consequences for the global carbon cycle, the ocean's energy equilibrium, and prevailing theories about Arctic ecology within the Earth system. Moreover, heightened concerns now center on the implications of plastic pollution for both human health and marine ecosystems. A record quantity of plastic trapped in Arctic sea ice has been uncovered. Core samples taken from various regions in the Arctic Ocean revealed the presence of up to 12,000 units of microplastic particles per liter of sea ice, three times greater than previous research had indicated. Researchers from the Alfred Wagener Institute's Helmholtz Center for Polar and Marine Research, AEOY, identified fragments of packaging, paints, nylon, polyester, and cellulose acetate, commonly used in cigarette filters, in every sample collected during 2014 and 2015. This alarming revelation coincides with growing apprehension about the extensive impact of plastic pollution, which experts warn could lead to near-permanent contamination of the planet. The Arctic stands as a significant global repository for plastic pollution and is several times more concentrated than the well-known Pacific Garbage Patch, as highlighted in a prior study. Over the past decades, it is estimated that at least one trillion pieces of plastic have become embedded in Arctic ice. Dr. Gunnar Gertz, whose laboratory conducted the measurements, emphasized that the situation is even more severe than previously thought. His research revealed that some particles were as small as 11 micrometers in diameter, approximately one-sixth the width of a human hair. This micro-size accounts for concentrations surpassing 12,000 particles per liter of sea ice, a figure two to three times higher than prior measurements. The study's analysis of possible origins of this plastic pollution identified sources ranging from degraded fishing gear to plastic waste that had traveled thousands of kilometers on ocean currents. Dr. Ilka Pekin, one of the study's authors, clarified that the elevated levels of microplastics in Arctic sea ice aren't solely connected to sources outside the Arctic Ocean. They also point to regional pollution in the Arctic itself. Experts caution that the potential effects of this level of plastic pollution on human health and marine ecosystems remain uncertain. With an estimated five trillion pieces of plastic adrift in the world's oceans, marine plastic pollution represents a significant 
significant concern. Fish and birds often mistake these plastics for food, causing harm to marine life and introducing plastic particles into the human food chain. In one area comparable to the vast garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean, the new investigation uncovered record levels of polyethylene. In a separate region, large concentrations of nylon and paint particles were found, indicating potential increases in shipping and fishing activities. The study also revealed that a significant mechanism for dispersing plastic particles has emerged due to the plastic trapped in Arctic sea ice, which moves and melts contributing to the spread of microplastics throughout the ocean's surface waters. This finding suggests that microplastics have now become pervasive in the ocean, with no area remaining unaffected. On the other hand, Antarctica has captivated our fascination for many decades. From contemporary intrepid scientists to the renowned explorers of the 1800s, the allure of Antarctica's concealed treasures has remained strong. The continent remains shrouded in mystery as the last pristine wilderness on Earth, adept at safeguarding its enigmas due to its extreme conditions. Antarctica's uninviting climate, sub-freezing temperatures, and barren landscape render it uninhabitable for humans. The ice-covered continent, constituting 90% of Earth's ice, is roughly 1.5 times the size of the United States and is completely enshrouded in ice. Despite these conditions, researchers have persisted in exploring the Great White Continent, unveiling its most captivating enigmas. Despite the challenge of envisioning what lies beneath Antarctica's vast glaciers, scientists have identified several subsurface lakes. It is believed that around 400 lakes are concealed beneath three kilometers of ice in the studied areas, initially detected by radars in 1970. These lakes, as explained by scientists, are a consequence of Antarctica's separation from the former supercontinent Gondwana land. The immense pressure from the weight of the ice sheet prevents these lakes from freezing. Among them, Lake Vostok stands as Antarctica's largest subglacial lake, first acknowledged by Russian scientists during the 1990s. Situated 3.5 kilometers beneath the ice, it ranks as the third largest lake globally in terms of volume. Despite being buried under ice for over 20 million years, researchers have subsequently drilled deep into the ice to retrieve water samples. One of these samples indicated a temperature of approximately minus 3 degrees Celsius. Additionally, at Lake Willens, positioned about a kilometer beneath the ice sheet, researchers made a significant discovery in 2014 that altered the trajectory of scientific understanding. These remarkable organisms thrive despite enduring millions of years without access to sunlight or clean air. Instead, they rely on the energy derived from methane and ammonia for their growth. Within this environment thrive a variety of organisms including bacteria, crabs, colossal squid, elongated spiders with a size reminiscent of dinner plates, and notably large golden bristled worms adorned with sharp jaws. Even transparent ice fish are present, characterized by their substantial eyes and translucent skin that unveils their internal organs. These peculiar creatures are adapted to survive due to their antifreeze glycoproteins, allowing them to thrive in frigid waters. Interestingly, they lack hemoglobin, the substance responsible for the red color of human blood. Furthermore, the region hosts hosts an abundance of fossils from the Cretaceous era, encompassing dinosaurs, avian species, and marine mammals, all revealing glimpses of the distant past as uncovered by researchers. Among the more diminutive species, scientists have uncovered microscopic single-celled fossils that have sparked vigorous debates among experts. Additionally, fossilized forewings of a beetle species that existed in a warmer climate between 14 and 20 million years ago were found. In a remarkable revelation, researchers also stumbled upon sperm cells in the egg case of an extinct worm species, aged at 50 million years. This astounding discovery is anticipated to yield fresh insights into the process of evolution. Surprisingly, an expansive portion of ice in Antarctica has been discovered to emit a distinct sound, resembling a song. This unusual phenomenon is observed in the Ross Ice Shelf, which stands as the largest ice shelf in Antarctica. Encompassing an expanse exceeding 500,000 square kilometers, roughly equivalent to the size of France, and boasting a thickness of several hundred meters, the Ross Ice Shelf has intrigued researchers. Recent investigations have unveiled that the Ross Ice Shelf produces an eerie melody due to the interaction of winds with the surrounding snow dunes. These winds generate surface vibrations and nearly continuous seismic tones, resulting in what can be described as a haunting tune. 
However, these vibrations remain inaudible to the human ear. Scientists utilize seismic sensors to capture these subtle vibrations and decode the somber melody that emerges. Interestingly, this musical discovery was unintentional. Seismic sensors were initially deployed on the ice shelf to monitor other phenomena. Since its accidental detection, researchers have delved into the phenomenon further revealing that the composition of the song changes in response to various environmental factors, such as snowstorms or melting events. Researchers are presently investigating the ice shelf's stability and its potential vulnerability to collapse by analyzing the seismic hum, effectively utilizing the melodic song as a real-time monitoring tool. In the uncharted depths beneath Antarctica's surface, an air of mystery persists. The enigma that shrouds the Great White Continent renders it one of the most perplexing and enigmatic regions on Earth. Despite the ceaseless dedication of researchers worldwide, it remains possible that we may never completely unveil all of its intricacies. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Exploration. While you're still here, be sure to click on the video displayed on your screen for more astonishing videos centered around space.